Uh, the nomination, what does that mean in terms of implications for that January election? Well, it essentially means the, the cast of main characters, the main candidates is now set. And in end effect, the campaign starts now. It was an interesting choice uh, at the KMT to, to go for Hull. Uh, they had two strong candidates to choose between, as, as you mentioned. Uh, and in the end, uh, they ended up uh, going for Hull. Uh, who is seen, you know, after a long career as, as a policeman, he rose to become Taiwan's top cop uh, before switching to, to politics. So he's seen as something of a law and order candidate and, you know, broadly a, a competent administrator uh, and has a very good manner with people. So they, they've gone for a very sensible, low-key choice, um, which is in contrast to the past couple of elections where uh, both of their candidates have uh, fared quite poorly. So he is now <clears throat> up against uh, Vice President uh, Lai Qingde. And essentially what this means finally, uh, choosing a candidate means they've ended the uncertainty around their nomination process. Uh, you know, the fact that they had these two strong candidates to choose between just meant that <clears throat> their nomination process took much longer than the ruling Democratic Progressive Party. Uh, and so that had allowed Lai to build out something of a lead. He was then able to start campaigning uh, while the uh, KMT was still uh, trapped in this internal debate over who their candidates so be. So finally picking a candidate uh, will now allow Hull to start really uh, chipping away at, at that lead and it will lead to uh, what most people see as it will be a very competitive election. Where does the founder of Foxconn stand on this? Could we expect an independent bid or will he be supporting Ho? Well, that's the big question in Taipei right now. So uh, Terry Gore, you know, the founder of Foxconn, he's made no secret of his presidential ambitions over the past few years. He tried to uh, become president four years ago. He didn't manage to get the KMT nomination, and he spent the intervening four years uh, trying to bolster his image as uh, a, a presidential figure. Um, and so he went about it in a much more political, much smarter way uh, this time, but he's still fallen short, uh, unfortunately for him. Uh, and, and then the big question then is, you know, what does he do now? Does he uh, accept the results uh, and fall back uh, behind Hull, or, or does he uh, consider an independent bid? Four years ago, he did flirt with the idea of an independent bid before uh, deciding not to. So far this year, so he's indicated, uh, you know, he's congratulated Hull. He said he will support him 100%. Um, and the, the question now is, is there a possibility of him joining the ticket to run as Hull's uh, vice presidential running mate?